while you weren't watching, Facebook changed your email address. We got Scott Austin here to tell us all about this. <laughs> wow. Well, here we wow. Go. Here we go again with Facebook making a move that they didn't, you know, really announce broadly. So they said this. They say they said this in April uh, in an announcement that they were going to change your uh, default email uh, that you put up there, your personal email. Let's say you put a Gmail, your Gmail account, on your Facebook profile. Mm. Uh, they were going to make these uh, your your Facebook uh, email, Facebook.com at Facebook.com. So, so everybody has automatically an email address, and you can sign up for your own vanity, like Scott Michael Austin or you know Simon Constable at, at Facebook. So essentially what they did uh, yesterday is that they changed the default so that everybody's profile now says, you know, whatever your, if it's a digit number or if it's your name, uh, at Facebook.com on your profile as your contact information. This angered a lot of users because yeah. those who had Gmail suddenly they made that hidden. Facebook made it hidden. You can switch that back on. Oh, and actually, we, we have yeah. how to do that now. Um, you, you basically you do right. this by going to your timeline. It's pretty easy um, to do. You click on about under the contact information. You go to contact info and hit edit, and then you select the accounts you want to be visible. And then remember this: you've got to hit save at the end of it <laughs> because if you don't do that, you'll be doing this again and again and again and again. Um, that that is in fact pr um, pretty easy. Now you said that it wasn't widely announced. Yeah. I didn't receive an email. You didn't receive an email. Call of ours did. Well, I think some people receive uh, Facebook emails when they're not on the site for very long. So Facebook keeps sending them emails to get them back onto the mm. site. And I think in some cases uh, that they did email them about this. Again, they did sort of say this in April, but it, it was all very quiet. And for 900 million users, suddenly to have so their Facebook sort of email changed. Yeah, they, they sort of whispered it. <laughs> right. Uh, in, yeah. in, the, in the bigger deal, you know, you can obviously change this back. So it's not that big of a deal. You can make your Gmail account, uh, you know, expose it on the site and, and surface it and, you know, make the Facebook one hit. And, but there's a bigger picture here is what Facebook is trying to do mm -hmm. uh, in a quiet way. And they started this Facebook email uh, service in 2010. Um, the question is, are they going to go after Gmail? Are they going to go after Hotmail and Yahoo Mail mm. with their own service? Clearly, you know, they want people to stay on the site and message through the site. And they want to make it as easy as possible by using this Facebook email address. And so they're trying to encourage people to suddenly uh, you know, use it. Because I don't think most people even know that they have a Facebook email address. And, and well, they, they'll have to improve the functionality. I've used it, and it's not great. But I'm afraid we can't talk about this anymore. Um, more on that on WSJ.com.